With today's technology, we have a lot of choices as to where we manage and maintain our virtualized environment. We might have everything on site, or we might choose to put our virtual environment off site. In an on site configuration, we own it, we manage it, we can touch it. There's a rack full of servers. It is our infrastructure, and we're responsible for building out that infrastructure, for maintaining it. And if there are any issues associated with the hosting of that, we are responsible for solving any of those problems. There are a number of advantages to hosting this virtualized environment on site. One is that you have complete control as to what happens. If anything needs to be moved, if there are any changes that need to occur, you're the one that has control over any of those changes. If you need to shift or change the way the virtualized environment is configured, if you need more disk space, if you want to disable part of that system, you have control over that. And of course, you have complete security over all of these. You can have them in a locked room. You can limit access to the physical servers themselves. And that's something that you may not necessarily have available to you if all of this virtual environment is being hosted somewhere off site. There are some disadvantages to having this on site, of course. One of those is that it costs money. You have to purchase those servers. You have to have that operating system. You have to have it in a rack in a controlled environment. And all of that is a capital expense and an operational expense that you have to think about. You're also going to need a networking infrastructure to go around that. So you'll need enterprise switches. You'll need some redundancy built into those, and perhaps the security associated with that as well. That makes it a little bit harder to upgrade, of course. You have to think about how much room you have available in your racks. You have to purchase new equipment. You have to wait for that equipment to be delivered. So sometimes it's difficult to make changes very, very rapidly because there are a number of physical devices that get in the way of being able to turn very quickly. In an offsite environment, everything is in the cloud. I don't have to worry about where these particular systems are in a data center. They don't even exist at my local facility. All of my applications, all of my servers, all of my operating systems are somewhere else. And I don't necessarily care where that somewhere else might be. So I don't have any infrastructure costs whatsoever. There's no air conditioning. There's no servers that I have to purchase. Nothing from a hardware perspective is a capital cost that comes out of my pocket. The management of all of these devices the maintenance and the upkeep is all handled by a third party. So I don't have to have a lot of staff on hand to be able to manage the devices and make sure that they stay up and running. They can also be located anywhere in the world. I can bring them up in a data center environment at any location that I would like. And sometimes I can bring them up in multiple locations at the same time. And many of these service providers in these virtual environments have huge capacity. And if you need more disk space or you need more bandwidth, they can simply turn Turn a dial, and now suddenly you have more resources available to you. One of the significant disadvantages to this, of course, is that all of your data is now at a different facility. That's a facility that you may not have physical access to, and you may not know exactly who has physical access to this environment. So in cases where the data is extremely sensitive, having your virtualized environment somewhere in the cloud may not be the best option for you. You also have contractual limitations associated with this. You're usually signing a long-term contract with a third party, so you're locked in for a certain amount of time. And if your environment changes very rapidly or you need to modify some things associated with that contract, you may be limited as to what you can do. So whether you work with all of your systems on site or whether you choose to host your virtual environments off site, you have options so that your applications can run as efficiently as possible.